Well, hello, gang. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about more of the progress I've made. I'm kind of tilting this board so it doesn't get the glare, but this is going to be my power board. Uh, I, it's very big, but that's okay. I'm going to have a large chassis. This is kind of a first of its kind, but you can see I'll have AC power coming in through this side, going to our diodes, and they're going to connect over to these guys, which will be mounted somewhat like this. In each of those spots, I will quickly place them all so you see. It'll go something along the lines of this. And I decided, I think you saw me talking about that last time, if you watched the last video, that I wasn't sure how exactly to make that the most optimal. And I'm not lining these up perfectly, but you'll see that's the gist of how that's going to end up looking. Um, but the um, what I will end up needing to do here, you can see some of my debris of building this stuff, but uh, is basically I'll have the B plus hitting here. It's going to come through here. Then there'll be a choke connecting these two points. I have, if you look, these kind of connect into these parts that will connect into the positive, then I'll have them make negative and I can ground these uh, on the ground on the negative on either side here. And then these sides will be my different B plus connections. So this is going to be here before the choke, and then after the choke I think that was B plus one, but I can't remember, this might be, we can, I'll show that on the screen here in a second. But then we have our 2.2k dropper to here, this will be B plus three I think, B plus four and B plus five, and those are just 10k droppers as well. Um, so I'll just take lead wires underneath the board that connect off this direction towards the board. And so if we slide that out of the way, the board, I have not started populating it yet, but it definitely has uh, all of its eyelets in place and it is ready to go as well. And it's fairly long and large board. So uh, that will also be ready to start being populated shortly and I'll bring you back with that in a minute. But I've decided I had an old board that I did, I think this was for a FET board, and it's laying around and unused, so I might as well use this for my bias board. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the, the, the reverse diode right here, and then a jumper over from here, so that I'll be able to connect this off to my, uh, I believe if I remember it, there's either the potentiometer here or the dropper resistor, I'll show a quick scan of that. But then those will connect off to the, oh, actually I'm pretty sure there's a, this will connect to the potentiometer that's the bias adjustment and then there's a resistor from the other side of that to ground uh, and then the output of the wiper is goes off so but on this side I will have the um, the negative bias coming in connecting to a, dro a dropper resistor here as well that's the dropper resistor for that part so uh, that's the bias board so those are all the main boards um, I still need to get obviously my choke my chassis my transformer but since I am at the first of December that uh, will be happening shortly. So uh, I do have all the components ready to start populating the board shortly here. Hopefully you'll see the next step with the components populated. You guys have seen in my videos be doing that before, so I don't think I need to cover that in deep detail. But shortly here after the cut, we should have that available. And there you have it. I've got this board has been populated with the components, as you can see. Uh, the, this is my bias board. The bias will come in here through the dropper resistor, through the diode, to the capacitor. And then I'll wire this off to go connect to the bias pot. And here is the power supply board. We've got the you know the different nodes. Uh, it'll come into here through the B plus, through choke, through the dropper resistors, and I'll be running leads off. And these sides will be my ground, so I can put individual grounds or jumper some if I need to. And finally, I've got most of my board populated as well. Um, You'll see here, um, this whole section looks mostly pretty good. I had a very hard time getting the leads between there and there. I also did a bit of a mistake uh, where I had my leads were a bit too long in a few places. One here, so I decided to just make to basically move this one up a little bit so that this could fit there better. And then as I kind of all turn the board around at the entry level as well, right here, my bi capital bias caps were just a little too far apart as well. Now I did, I was able to get them in here but I don't know, I, I'm, I'm missing my 225 microfarad capacitors for those, so I have to go and order those, I missed those. And I also accidentally ordered kind of the wrong kind of a little capacitor that goes um, just off screen. Let me move it over a little. Goes right here. Uh, so I have to get that, that's a small picofarad capacitor, but I got the wrong kind, it's a little tiny thing that's not gonna fit there. Uh, and then I somehow miscounted my number of my 0.02 uh, I have, you know, like there's one, two, three, some, some off here, four, five, six, I need seven, because the seventh one goes right, I believe, here as well. So uh, that, that guy is missing. And then I did tack solder, and no, I shouldn't say tack solder, I soldered a few of the components in place that um, are not moving, and that will help kind of hold things together. I especially kind of needed to do this. Um, this this particular one here that I mentioned was kind of tight. It's also close to touching these where these come in, so I put some a little bit of the tubing around those to protect them from touching those. These are my basically the the resistors that connect the lead in through the into the 
phase inverter is there two 470k capacitors that provide the um, mixing the channel mixing you know for that as well so there you have it that is getting very close uh, i now have to actually put the order in for my chassis put the order in for my transformers that kinds of things so hopefully those will be coming here shortly but this will be enough of an update for now hope uh, give me a like thumbs up and subscribe if the, this is interesting for you thanks